In this video, we're going to look at how you can communicate between your actions without using something like sessions or cookies. If we go take a look at some code here, this is our comment controller from our movie critic application that we've worked with in past videos. You'll see down here a flash hash being set, and this flash is passed between all of our controllers. So you always have access to this, and you can set these various hashes, the, the keys inside here, to different comments or text that you want passed between your different controllers and between your different methods inside your controllers. So if we actually look at our layout file here, you'll see that inside of here we have a, inside of a paragraph uh, wrap that we have, and I notice that we're missing their close here. You'll notice this a Ruby of eval ERB evaluation of the flash hash right here so that we actually get that information back out of that flash that we've stored in here prior. So what in this case what happens is that when a new comment is created and you click on that create button this is the method that gets called it creates that new comment with this line and if it saves without a problem then it sets this flash to comment was successfully save and redirects to list so then your list will come up and at the top of the window there it'll say comment was successfully created so let's go ahead and see that in in action get my window up here so let's do new comment a new just select that go ahead and do create and there you go and you can see at the top of our screen we have comment was successfully created so it's a very simple easy way to pass messages between your various controllers and method calls if you want some little notification that's sent between them and you want that notification displayed up here